Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. The way this read is going to go, I'm going to do a whole bunch of clarifying. I'm going to go with your emotions as an empath or... Uh, when it comes to uh, following your intuition, I'm going to also clarify that with a regular tarot deck to see who and what energies you've been dealing with. And also, I'm going to uh, clarify that energy with another tarot deck in order for you to understand where you are and uh, with this energy and how you've overcome that. The thing about this channel is that we learn from the past and we understand the difference between the lessons and um, the blessings that come into our lives and we thank the people who've come into our lives and that you know sometimes it runs its course and that's all we can do when it comes to this situation so you guys do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video remember rare hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six me to have my back because I have yours. So we have the hangman energy out. So this is a rewarded sacrifice is what it says when it comes to the hangman energy. It's also you understanding that when it comes to the options that you have, you have to be in your king of cups energy, which is having emotional control and some type of balance. Yeah, because there's going to be burdens here, ten of wands energy. There's going to be burdens. There's going to be all types of energies that's going to try to stop you in the process of your flow. But you have a responsibility to be able to see the difference between those two. So the card that comes out is the Ace of Cups. It says emotional readiness and the King of Swords energies, um, ethics over emotion. So right now, oh, I turned that over. Right now what you're doing is you are basically trying to figure out what it is and if this sacrifice is worth uh, the um, if it's worth the journey, if it's worth your time, but with the Ten of Coins being here, Ten of Pentacles, it is a lasting uh, security is what it says. But with the Ten of Coins, it's, it's basically you having everything that you wanted, everything that you dreamt about, the foundation, the success, and the opportunities that you were able to manifest. But it took for you to understand that you have options, but it, the options come with you having emotional control and not making heart over head decisions. It's making ethics over emotional decisions. And that's why the King of Cups and the King of uh, Swords shows its face because you have to know um, in order to have what you want, to have that foundation, you have to be ready for anything that comes your way. And knowing that sometimes you have to pull your energy back with the hangman energy being here because the options that you have takes for you to be able to be emotionally balanced. And that's a hard thing for a cancer to do. So remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. These persons place things in situations. We're here to teach you a lesson. I'm going to pull from this tarot deck. Uh, I think this is like the, sorry, Edgar Allan Poe. No, this is not that one. I don't know which deck this is. But anyway, this is basically from a masculine standpoint. If, you know, and everybody has masculine and feminine energy in your chart. This is the empathic energy that we all face when it comes to making hard overhead decisions or just trusting in our intuition. This energy will be basically from a masculine standpoint or um, however it comes out. It could be a person that you're dealing with. It could be somebody who is able to control the narrative when it comes to your emotions and so uh, this could be your inner self this could be someone else's but again we'll see where it's at when it comes to the burdens the heavy burdens that you uh have been dealing with so i'm going to clarify with the ace of cups energy the emotional readiness you know ace of cups again just lets you know that when it comes to love new relationships and being compassionate about things that you're wanting to create or be a part of the creativity process you have to be emotional ready and that comes with you learning how to manifest in the time of chaos magician energy comes out the magician energy is you have to know how to be yourself this card tried to show its face i'll show it to you uh yeah when the will of fortune the ebb, ebb and flows of life when the ebb and flows of life show their face you know will of fortune is also just letting you know that sometimes you know you gotta roll with the punches and go with the flow but you know, when it comes to you manifesting the things that you want and you looking at things uh, the way that you want them to be, 
you being able to uh, be yourself in the process of ethics over emotions because see people will always try to steer you in the wrong direction we're clarifying the king of swords just to let you know which is again ethics over emotion yeah the completion the rule of uh, excuse me the uh, world in the reverse basically almost in the reverse but with the world being in the reverse it's just letting you know that sometimes you have to be able to understand the difference between you trying to fix everything you trying to be everything and to understand about the negativity and the things that are out of your control and that's where the ethics over emotion comes in at with the world in the reverse you're not able to control certain situations people and places and so when you realize the rewarded sacrifice you have when it comes to the hangman energy you know uh, of not just going with the flow but understanding that you have to um surrender to the divine and understand that the burdens are going to come ace of wands energy but you have to have the courage and the desire to be able to go after the things that you want and that is where the inspiration has to come into you having the willpower to no matter what you go through know that this sacrifice the rewards that you go through are basically going to get you to where you need to be and that's to the ten of pentacles energy so sometimes that takes for you to have to sit still you know and just trust in the divine timing and when we have all of the different things in our lives that we want to uh, play a part in or be a part of or we see potential in, we tend to give them that our energy and or give it our energy when we st and stop putting it into ourselves. We're clarifying the Ten of Coins energy or Ten of Pentacles. Each pentacle is equivalent to a year. So we have Ten of Pentacles uh, going on with the Six of Pentacles. I just said that we basically give our energy to everything else and the six of pentacles is giving to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself and so we put our energy into everything else and we stop doing that for ourselves and the last insecurity it doesn't last because again we make emotional decisions to help everyone but we kind of mess ourselves up the way we keep giving because like Queen Amin Ra says, we are the mother of the Zodiac. We're able to be the Queen of Pentacles to give. But again, JDS Tarot says that the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. And so with the Seven of Cups energy being here, knowing that you have the same options as everyone else, it's temptations there. It's all of these things that you trying to help heal to be everybody else's foundation and you forget to be your own foundation. And that's where the Seven of Cups energy comes in. It just lets you know that sometimes you just have to, let's see what card came out. You just have to, yeah, Six of Wands energy, know that you're going to always run into some type of conflict, but at the same time have victory and have the realization that Ten of Pentacles only comes with you building that foundation. It has nothing to do with anybody else. You have to build a foundation. And if anybody else is judging you for the way that you do things, right? judgment energy having a realization if anybody else is judging you for the way that you do things when it comes to you having the security you have to learn your own lessons but victory comes when you realize the options that you have are the same options and the energy that you put into people you need to put those into yourself and that's where the king of cups energy comes out and it says peaceful diplomacy but it also means having emotional control so let's clarify the king of cups energy comes out with the nine of swords emotional control means that anxiety that you have at the bottom of your in, in the bottom of your gut that that energy that is making you have night sweats that's really making you worry about the burdens mm -hmm. and you being able to make an emotional decision to leave the people who are causing so much baggage for you nine of wands energy hold on one second let me go get my granddaddy hold on okay i'm back so what basically with the nine of wands energy being here the ten of, uh the ten of wands energy uh being here is letting you know that burdens and boundaries uh burdens you learn to set uh, to learn about the burdens by setting boundaries and being okay with setting boundaries, not feeling embarrassed that you have to make ethic uh, em ethical emotions um, when it comes to head over heart decisions and not heart over head decisions because you are in order to have emotional control. You have to understand that this is the energy that you need to be a part of, if that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, the thing is, is that when it comes to the Nine of Wands and then the burden, so setting boundaries based upon the burdens, you have to understand that this is going to cause anxiety for you because you're a giver, you're not a taker, you're not someone who wants to put things um, in 
be honest about the way that you see when it comes to certain people and their energies. You just want to be there for everyone. And so at some point you have to turn around and be like, hey, 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 this is what I have to do for my betterment without explaining it. And sometimes that's the that's the burden that you come that comes with, you know, you having the courage to go in a different direction from everyone else, if that makes sense. Yeah, so you just have to, you know, be courageous when it comes to why you have to get to a point of setting boundaries, recognizing the burdens, and having courage because this is what you want overall. You want to understand, you want to have your cake and eat it too, but you also want foundations and security. And sometimes when it comes to dealing with certain people, they they don't have those same requirements for you. They want you to do, 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 um, but and take, 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 but they don't want to help you build anything so i mean and that's to whoever this goes to we're going to clarify the magician energy the magician and the ace of cups energy i want to say that's the ace of cups but hold on yeah it comes with heartbreak so yeah um is this the ace of cups yes yeah, the ace of cups and the magician comes with the three of swords and also um yeah the hangman so again this is the same energy as the world being in the reverse the hangman um just letting you know that hey um, in order for me to um, look at things from a different perspective, in order for me to, you know, manifest the things that I want, it's going to take a little heartbreak. It's going to be ruffling of feathers. It's going to be, um, you know, somebody's going to be hurt in the process. Somebody's going to be emotional. Somebody is going to be feeling like they're in limbo. And that's where if this is your energy that you had to deal with, this is why you went forward and also started to make head over heart decisions not heart over head decisions because again there was a lack of completion when it came to the world energy and um you had to the opposite of not wanting to move on which is the world card um you you were stagnant and that's why i say the hangman energy is basically the same thing because instead of moving on you're in limbo and so to clarify the world energy and also the yeah comes with the ace of cups yeah See, new opportunities. So this is why being in limbo, making head over heart decisions and manifesting based upon heartbreak and understanding what it's like to just, you know, do and do and do and not really have what you want, which is relationships, which is a new, you know, love, compassion and being able to be creative. It all comes with the ace of wands energy, ten of wands energy um, and hangman. OK, so hangman was out here uh, rewarded sacrifice. So it's a difference. This is you hanging if you look at the two hangman cards, this is, no, not yet, not yet. This is, um, I'm recording, baby. Um, this is you being in limbo, and this is you um, pulling yourself out of it, but being able to, uh, um, what is it called? You being able to um, control the way you are suspended, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. And uh, even though, you know, it takes for you to set the boundaries by having the burdens and being courageous. You're able to do this by you learning. Put that back now. By you learning from certain situations. And so with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Hangman energy, it all comes with justice. Yeah, um, needing clarification. So justice energy is doing the right thing. But also if it's in the reverse, it's you um, having a lack of accountability. You, you know, um, you being... Um, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it could be anything from dishonesty. It could be anything from, you know, um, um, the truth. But it's not here. It's unsure. So let's clarify justice now. Um, it's unsure because look at all these cards. Yeah, look at that. Okay. It's unsure because, again, being in limbo and the burdens coming and also understanding with the, um, you have to be courageous because the justice is going to be truthful. It's going to be dishonest. It's going to be all of these different things of why Ten of Wands, there's more burdens. So Ten of Wands, based upon Ten of Wands, there's three Ten of Wands out here, the burdens. Uh, the King of Wands energy is you basically, excuse me, seeing the big picture and overcoming the challenges, but it also is understanding where your insecurities lie, the Seven of Swords energy. You know, the Seven of Swords uh, can be anything from you being betrayed from you um, getting, you know, uh, dealing with a lot of deception and coming up with a strategy. And then also the, um, those are not mine, those are hers. 
the um hold on one second my son wants me hold on okay so yeah um and the thing is this is the nine of cups energy so with it being the nine of cups you have to understand that this is you having your rewards but all of these things come in the process of that and then we have the emperor energy so the emperor energy is just letting you know that you have to be able to create to to create but respect yourself at the same time so to have your rewards you need to respect yourself you need to understand that you are the queen of pentacles like um, queen amen ross says the mother of the zodiac which is somebody who was able to manifest the things that they want and give no matter what you know so this is you on a normal basis but again you have to pull your energy back when it's when your kindness is taken for 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 granted and you're trying to build a foundation with people who don't want the same thing so your anxiety is on point so you have to be able to respect yourself enough to be able to see this and also when it comes to the page of pentacles this is also you doing the work you have to be able to do the work when it comes to you manifesting the things that you want seeing the opportunities and being able to develop or to make sure this is um, going to be something that you will remember or be able to be a part of down the line, if that makes sense. So the Six of Cups energy, um, again, is letting you know that, you know, the love, the nostalgia, the memories that you have and seeing the innocence of a child is something that you need to be able to handle and deal, deal with um, and know that sometimes you cannot go with the people that you were, um, you cannot... I'm not trying to say this. A lot of people that you dealt with in the past cannot go with you in the, to the future, in the future, or at this present moment. And that's where you have to understand the difference between the opportunities and what you had to learn from them, if that makes sense. The nine, excuse me, the six of cups and the ten of cups. So your foundation, your stability will be there, but you have to understand the way that you give and the, you know, and this is in your kind heart, uh, the way that you're giving to people. It also stops you from being able to manifest things because it keeps you stagnant and it keeps you always giving, giving, giving and never really working on yourself, just manifesting for everyone else, which makes you feel good inside, but not when it comes to what it is that you have to go through. You looking and seeing um, all of the opportunities that pass you by and all of the things that may be considered temptation, but at the same time, it comes with you either being successful because you have to realize that if you want the stability, uh, again, Ten of Pentacles comes out with the Ten of Pentacles, the magician, and giving, you have to know why, um, what what can stop you or hinder you from uh, going after all of the options that you have in front of you. And that comes with, again, setting boundaries. This is why you have to set these boundaries in order for you to get to this point of learning why you feel the way you do and why the anxiety is there and why you just want to have emotional control and balance and not to deal with the anxiety of having to go through this. So if you do this in the beginning, you won't have to go through this in the end or towards the end of the situations uh, because you won't p take things personally. You'll just know exactly how things will be. This card tried to turn over, but the cause and the anxiety, again, is the Seven of Cups because when you overthink a situation and feel like somebody will – uh, somebody you give somebody the opportunity to take you for granted instead of setting those boundaries you won't really recognize the opportunities that you have and also the energies that you um, share or can share or the opportunities that you can have when it comes to why you're looking at things from a different perspective and this, this is the apple and this is basically you know apple and wine so remember Cinderella um, or not Cinderella was her Snow White ate the apple but if it was disguised as wine, would you look at it in a different light? And so that's the reason why you have to look at the snakes in the grass, the things like that, the opportunities. You know, it could be a dragon. It could be a snake. It could be a beautiful princess. It can be a castle. It can be money. And it could be um, uh, wealth um, or um, this could be like a toxic type of energy. So this, all of these energies could be causing you anxiety. But again, the peaceful diplomacy is what you want, but you have to be able to see the things and have the emotional control that you need. Let's clarify this energy. We're going to clarify the Seven of Cups and the uh, Nine of Swords. And, yeah, this all comes out. Yeah. So bottom of the deck is Ace of Pentacles. Uh, back to the Aces again. 
Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So to be able to have your cake and eat it too, have the love and the, you know, to be able to manifest the new opportunities, which is inside of here, um, you have to be able to understand and see things for what they are, set in boundaries, because there's going to always be conflicts when you're dealing with takers. There's going to be always you that wants to look and see the beauty in everything as an empathetic cancer, as somebody who is very calm and compassionate and comforting. You know, you're always going to be the one to look at things from a bigger picture and do what makes your heart happy, which is you giving and helping people because you see the potential in them. But remember, the Queen of Wands energy is somebody who is confident. It says confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself own your flaws and rock without caring what others think. So you're going to get to this empathetic nature and be able to be compassionate, calm, and comforting. But um, Queen of Cups energy says, um, be someone who makes everyone feel important, looks them through their eyes, and make them feel understood. But you're going to do that from a, a certain perspective of not of it not being toxic to you. It's going to be to where you're confident enough to hold them and fold them, to be able to say no this is not what I want, uh, Queen of Wands energy. You know, you're going to be determined. You're going to be passionate. You're going to be joyful, and you're going to be courageous when it comes to these people, places, and situations. But you got to know that there is hidden hearts or hidden secrets for people and why they consider to do things or why they keep constantly doing, doing things and coming around you in order for you to uh, help them and to keep giving to their cause but never – them giving to yours and it says time waiting cycles and moments that is what the issue is right now there are cycles that had to be had and there had to be pain be, to be able to see and only time will tell what what happens and what people will do but if you stop them ahead and understand that chasing thrills and having a good time is not what you're really wanting you want a foundation bottom of the deck and you want commitment you want marriage promises and and fidelity, not infidelity. And so this is if you start this right now in the beginning or starting over however you want to take it, if you understand where your weaknesses are, because that's what it is. Your weakness is love. Your weakness is giving. But your weakness is what makes you who you are, your empathetic nature. And you have to have emotional control and balance in the, even though you're compassionate, calm, and comforting to everyone. But you have to know that your commitments are different from the way everybody else commits and your it causes burdens and it causes you to have to set boundaries, but it also causes you to be successful and to be able to manifest everything because as you give, you will receive. Only time will tell if this energy is going to last or not. But if you know ahead go if you go if you know ahead of time how you deal with emotional attachments or detachments then you will be able to look at things in a different light and a different perspective. I'm going to pull from the yin and yang excuse me, uh, deck to see what comes out. But, yeah, you'll be able to distinguish what it is. And, again, only time will tell. But you want a commitment, a lasting commitment. And that, um, yeah, you, you are reflecting and being open to receive. And not just um, open to receive and reflection and projections could be seeing potential but you are open to receive a different type of love, the type of love that you give, not a one-sided love. And that's because at some point there were a lack of love and a lack of, situ uh, a, a lack of energy, which causes more doubts than anything else. So you'll be able to see that. I'm going to pull from what's the T, and then I'll pull from the True Emotions deck to see what comes out. And then we're going to go ahead and release the energy um, before we, uh, I mean, after we pull the Crystal deck. So cock blocking in the reverse. These cards tried to come out, but they didn't. Uh, cock blocking in reverse. So you're going to be open to receive. You're not going to block anybody's blessings. You're not going to allow people to stop you from getting the getting the things that you want and going from there. So again, the people that are haters, that are negative, that only want you to be with them and to be available to them, you're not dealing with those type of energies. So that's how I kind of see this cock blocking in the reverse you know you're not going to be deal with vultures and yeah a romantic affair and fake smiles you're not going to be dealing with people with fake smiles um you're not going to be anybody's secret lovers you're not going to be it says sex fix a romantic love affair and dodging bullets again blocking negativity that's because you've learned that lack and doubt and lack of commitment um and also burdens and a lack of boundaries um 
is why you're dodging all of the negative negativity and the negative situations that you've done dealt with in the past if that makes sense and you know so no more fake no more fakeness no more one-sided relationships no more just because you know it feels good it has to be a a reason why you're doing it and so with the true emotions deck let's see what comes out with the true emotions deck yeah so you've learned your lesson you've learned that you know now is the time after 10 years you got six years here with the six of pentacles 10 years ten of pentacles comes out twice you've learned your lesson that you know it's no time it's not time to deal with fake people and fake energies who the car fell hold on um yeah twin flames or twin flame energies or romance you know uh it's about dealing with people who are like-minded with you you don't want to be in a twin flame situation to where it's hot and cold one day or you know it's only one-sided you know and fake feelings so you're going to be you're going to get on top of this before anything else um uh, comes out of any situation and you know you're going to look at things in a different light so now i'm going to pull from the twin flame karmic and um soul mate uh, deck to see what comes out but yeah you are basically yeah here it is oh well it could be a reunion of twin flame so maybe this is a situation to where this was all of the things that you learned from this uh pulling you up it says you will encourage each other in every little aspect of life Pulling one another out of self-doubt and dark times, a shelter from the torments of life. So again, it is a romance thing, but you're no no more dodging bullets. You guys got to say what it is that you want. And it says reunion here. It says both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of your connection. This reunion will uh, will be physical in nature. So it's not just a twin flame, one sided back and forth, um, just about sex, all about the sex. It's not just that. It is more than that. Let's pull from the finance deck to see what comes out um, and see what you were actually working on or trying to work on. Sorry, I know that's loud. But we have, the again, the Queen of Pentacles here. Well, no, we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And um, um, also the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, I think, or the King of Wands energy. I forget which one is out. Let's see who it is. King of Cups, and I think it was the King of King of Swords is out here, yeah. So, yeah, you are learning that you have to be yourself. You know, you have to be yourself. You can't keep constantly allowing uh, certain situations to hold you back. And just because they uh, are okay with you being in limbo for them, you're not going to do that anymore, no matter how many. Yes, yeah, a gift here. And then be a sport. It says um, you could be great at any sport, career, or, or in the field of health and fitness it says improving your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaborations so again this could be a gift that's going to you it could be a reunion or you could have been a gift to someone but it says you are being asked to have more fun or focus on being a team player so you've been the team player so maybe this is for someone else but the gift is here Hold on. the gift says um sometimes some someone might gave might give you a gift lend you some money or help help you in some way it says you could get a cash bonus at work you have natural talents give talents gifts and abilities just wait waiting to be discovered explore them so again that's what you were working on why this energy was going on and so now the only thing it is for you is to give yourself the gift of love and know that you've done everything in this situation but the gift is you setting boundaries and not dodging bullets anymore and just um you know um or not not accepting anything is what I want to say. You're blocking the negativity. Um, if you want to know about the four agreements, I'll put the link up above. Um, it says don't make assumptions. Yeah, the potential is I said it in here. Saying goodbye to sadness and drama. It says all the sadness and drama you have lived in your life was rooted in making assumptions and taking things personally. The whole world of, con of control between humans is based on that. Take a moment and consider this. And so you are not taking things personally. You are basically saying what it is that you want. You've already pulled this person up, but it was all one-sided. If there are going to be any type of reunions or a twin flame um, situation to where you've seen at one point the potential in people, you're not making assumptions that they've healed. You're going to basically see and say what it is that you want out of a situation um, and go from there. So uh, the blue turquoise comes out with the crystal deck and... I already said it um it says throat and third eye chakra communication release and healing 
communication, release, and healing. And it says, I speak my truth with ease. And that is where you are. So let's let this old energy go. My, my baby's crying. Uh, okay, there we go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.